Hi everyone, just wanted to show you some of my mixed media techniques. This is an old canvas that I've got that I was never really happy with and it's just been hanging around in the studio. So I had this bright idea that I could use my old canvases as backgrounds for some smaller works. So this canvas is acrylic and there's quite a lot of texture in it when you look at it but what I'm going to do first is I really don't like all of the black on there so I'm just going to put some glue on this is PVA glue I've mixed it with a little bit of water it doesn't need to be as thick as what PVA is on its own and I'm just going to put on some pieces of tissue. Not while it only knock back some of the darks on there, it'll also give me some added texture. Just tearing the tissue. You could use anything that you like. You could use some old music, some text. Any scraps of old paintings that you've got lying around. I won't bore you with doing the whole canvas. You can do that off screen. But what I want to show you now is how I apply some paint. As you can see I've got a lot of texture into the work and now I'm going to add some colour. I have dried it off in the meantime so let's move this back so that you can see me apply some colour. First of all I'm going to add some gesso. Okay, gesso is just done with a, a large brush. I'm just using the flat part of the brush. And you can see by using the flat part of the brush it catches on the texture and gives me some lovely beautiful marks. My aim is to leave some of the colours showing through. Don't want to cover the whole thing with white. I am going to add some more colour in a moment. Just skimming over the top.
so if you've got lots of canvases or paintings that are hiding behind your doors and under your beds this is a great way to use them up without wasting your money and chucking them out okay So just showing you, I've got some burnt sienna, some phthalo blue, some yellow ochre and some cobalt turquoise. Adding some burnt sienna to that blue, it'll give me some lovely greys. Okay, I can use a roller just a sponge roller and blend some of that out Picking a little bit up of the yellow ochre, skimming again over the top, still has a little bit of blue on my brush so I'm getting some nice greens coming through. Now remember we're not doing a painting here, we're just preparing some backgrounds. A bit more of a, a blend. Picking up a little bit of the turquoise. into it. I think we're looking pretty good. You can even come back with some more white and break up parts. So you get the idea, um, I'm going to let that dry now and then I'm going to cut it up, I'll show you how to do that and we will do some paintings using this canvas. Hi, welcome back everyone. I've dried off the canvas. Now I'm going to use a steel ruler and I'm just going to cut down each edge of the canvas.
see that the canvas just comes off and then I will cut it up into the desired sizes for my frames. Welcome back everyone. I've just cut these up on my guillotine. I've got quite a few um, frames that are fitting like a five and a half inch by five and a half inch. So I've cut some up to that size. I hope that you can see the gorgeous textures that I've got here. Just a quick run through. Beautiful colours where they're just blended. Got this lovely one here. Some diagonals there. This one looks as though it's already got the makings of a landscape. Some grasses maybe. More neutral tones, which is nice, but it's lovely to get these little bits of dark. Now, don't forget, you can still add to these. You could add more collage. You could do some stamping on there. You could add some more texture. These are 8 by 8 got some lovely frames that will take an 8 by 8 Really looking forward to playing with these. Look at the beautiful colours here. Okay, so this is video one. Look out for video two where I'll actually do paintings on these for you and possibly some collage. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get my updates as they come through. And go and prepare some canvases ready to paint on. Thanks for watching.